Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So that's iPad OS 15. We're going to go right into your settings. In your settings, you will see your option down here below where it's going to say general. Before you do that, make sure to do a backup under your iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Just hook it up to your computer and make a backup there. You can use Finder on Mac or iTunes on PC in order to do that. Again, if you're having problems with any updates, maybe you're not getting it. You can also update it using your computer. Anyways, right now we're just gonna go into general. So this is my general option. And then we're gonna go into our second option where it says software update. From here, we should see the latest one. It's okay if your iPad cannot be updated. Not all iPads are compatible. So just make sure your iPad is actually compatible with the latest update. Right now, although it's telling me that it's up to date, down here below, I can see also available iPad OS 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap right there to upgrade. Now I can just tap on download and install. Obviously, if you don't have a passcode, it's not gonna ask you for one. Right now we should see this screen. Just click on agree, agree, and we're done. All right, so at this point in time, you could just leave your iPad. It's just gonna turn off. You're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar, and then your update will be done. However, right now, it's just gonna download. Just let it be. If you guys only see install instead of download and install, that's okay. Maybe just download it the update from before and you're good to go. Right now, the downloading time does depend on your internet speed. And then later on, we're just gonna see the installation process. Just make sure to have your iPad hooked up some electricity, even though you might have more than 50% of your battery. Now, if you notice that it's taking you right to the next update, so that's 15.0.1, that's normal because they just released that one. And that's just to fix little glitches that happened with the original one. So that's just gonna download as well. All right, so as mentioned, if you just left your iPad TV, it would just install the update by itself. So you would see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then we're just about to get done. After your update's done, you should see this. Your iPad has been updated. Let's just unlock. Now you might notice that the update did this where you didn't have those widgets on the top. You might have those right now. So you can mess around with all that and just keep them. It's your choice. Anyways, for now, we're all done with the update. Again, if you're having any problems with the update, it's a really easy fix. Just hook it up to your computer right here, your iPad, and just update it through there. You can also wait two days because sometimes the servers have so many people downloading the update that it just doesn't go through. So you might get errors at downloading it and it might even tell you to try again later. But for now, we are all done. That's it for this update. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.